Once upon a time, in a mythical kingdom of Maryland, there was a boy, the loneliest boy in the world, Stone Striven. There are no happy endings, just happy moments and endings. What makes you say that, Stone? Life's not a story. Love doesn't save the day. Things just happen until they don't. Don't you think that's kind of bleak? I think that's realistic. Take the last couple of years, you know. Meet a guy, fall in love. Move out, get a job. Make movies. Guy falls out of love. Like, what do I even do next? Well, that's up to you. Yeah. I know. Oh, hey, Stone. Hey, Elmer. Um, are you writing right now? Because I can come back later. No, you're good. Elmer was a bard. Stone was a scribe. They fit well together. Look what we got. Wait, Bex is getting engaged? We have to remember that. In fairy tales, weddings are fast and commonplace. People die young in medieval times. Looks like we both got a plus one. Why would she do that for me, though? I mean, I know you're seeing Alex, but I'm not seeing anyone. Did we, uh... Griff was a jester. Sometimes. Other times, he gave really good advice. We gotta get you laid. This was, uh, not one of those times. Griff! No, dude, I'm serious, all right? Hear me out. Quill's been seeing somebody, all right? Sarah and Trevor are still going strong. Blech, by the way, all right? That dude's always giving me weird vibes. Yeah. Noah and Jasmine are nauseatingly in love. Yep. And even I've been seeing this one girl a few times. Mm -hmm. Now, you do not have to bring a plus one to Bex's party, but you sure as hell need to leave with one. I'm well aware I'm the perpetual third wheel. So get over Finn and get back out there. Okay, I am over Finn. It's been a long time. Really? Yes. Okay, so you're telling me if I, if I grab that phone over there and I look at the lock screen, it's not going to be a picture of the two of you? Oh, no. Not at all. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. We should... Okay. Huh. Look at that. You know, glowing is not a good look on you. You need to get on an app, man. It's time. Unfortunately, there's a small problem with Griff's plan, and it's that Stone's time is running out. He's not dying, of course, not unless you think every day one lives in itself a small death. But he is aging. The time for young, whirlwind romance has passed. How do you explain to a fellow 20-something-year-old that you've never been deflowered? Which term would you prefer, my liege? Anything but that. Consider these flowers, a housewarming gift from Quill. Every day that goes on, those flowers begin to lose their beauty. Stone's chance at a relationship is not unlike that. But the time the last petals wilt and fall, he'll be stuck like this forever. Thanks. Of course, my liege. What are you doing here? That's your imagination. Not me. Okay. What do you know about changelings? Nothing. Alright, fine. So, basically, a fairy would steal a human child and leave a fairy in its place. You know you had a changeling if your kid was ugly. Or... It was... Different. Different how? Did it seem advanced for its age? Did it... 
do weird repetitive movements? Did it struggle with social skills? You're saying changelings were autistic. That's a theory. That it's how medieval culture was able to conceptualize autism. That a perfect human child was stolen. Something otherworldly was left in its place. You know, a lot of parents would just abandon their kids in the woods for the fairies to take back. Is this supposed to make me feel better? Of course not. What would a fairy tale be without a visit from a witch in disguise to test our hero's resolve? Think, Stone, what could have you done to make me stay? Huh? Unfortunately, Stone was not going to pass this witch's test. Well, not yet, anyway. What's happening? Did we have to run here? I need a makeover. A makeover? Dude, why are you coming to us for this? You said I needed to get laid. This is how we do that. Hey. Dude, I don't know how to spell this out for you, but I don't exactly know what guys like. But you know how to win people over. Your whole job is schmoozing people for the Boys and Girls Club. Fair. This seems like a really bad idea. Why don't you just be yourself? I don't think being myself has gotten me very far. Now, if I were seeking a transformation, these are not the fairy tale godmothers I would pick. But it was the best Stone would get. You sure about this, buddy? I'm positive. Stone put out an invitation to the most eligible bachelors in the land by creating a dating profile. Swipe left. What? Why? Self-employed means unemployed. You are too old to deal with that. Thanks? Unfortunately, the definition of eligible no longer includes titled, rich, or owning property. My, how the world has fallen. This was Stone's second test. Could he find the right date to the ball? I'm in a fantasy baseball league. I have big golden retriever energy. The Hangover is the best movie ever made. Evidently not. He may have found some dates for this reimagined stone, but not the true one underneath. What are you so smug about? So this is supposed to be a fairy tale, right? Some sort of nice little moral lesson wrapped up in a parable? So what is it? It was the Victorians that started adding in all the lessons. Fairy tales simply began as a way to entertain and to make sense of the world. Like changelings. Like many things, dragons likely came from unearthed dinosaur fossils. The world is complicated stone. It's hard to make sense of it when you don't have the full picture. You know that. You live your life that way. I just want to be loved. You know what you would have to do to get that? You have to love yourself. I didn't love myself when I met Finn and I still loved him. Of course you can love other people and they may love you in return, but until you accept your role in the world, in that relationship, you'll never find a happily ever after. You know that, so stop fighting it. I'm not fighting it. Then what are you doing right now? What do you mean? You're talking to me. You're living inside your head, hiding from the real world. So what? I'm not supposed to have an imagination? I'm supposed to give up my voice? That worked out real well in the Hans Christian Andersen. Have an imagination, but not at the expense of a life. Don't be Rapunzel trapped inside a tower stone. Let down your hair and be free. I'm not ready. The third and final test. Can Stone break his own curse? You did it before, with Finn. That was different. Why? Because I understood him and he understood me. You were honest with each other. You met each other at your lowest, and you allowed the other person to see you, to help you. Sometimes, Stone, I, 
Wonder where you'd be if you had never met him. You think I would have killed myself? I don't know. And I don't want to know. Me neither. But what, I'm supposed to tell every first day I'm on for the rest of my life? Oh yeah, I'm suicidal? No. You need to make peace with the past. And then focus on the present. The future will follow. Please don't pick up. Please don't pick up. Hi. It's me. I... I don't want you to respond to this, actually. I've been thinking, and I need to thank you for everything, for saving me and letting me save you. There are no happy endings, just happy moments, the beautiful ones. And I wouldn't have had some of my favorites without you, and I hope you feel the same way. This isn't a let's try again call, by the way. Jazz told me you're seeing someone, and I'm happy for you, really. It's just a, um, yeah, thank you. So, thanks, again. Oh, thank God. That bad, huh? I never want to hear you say the phrase, golden retriever boyfriend, ever again. <laughs> hey, can you, um, can you listen to some lyrics for me, please? Sure. In a room full of silence, I couldn't make a sound. I'm not like the others, not when it counts. I want to break free, to watch the dawn break, but I just go on burning, tied to this stake. The faces by the fire think I'm the loneliest boy in the world. I lost myself in the smoke, my heart battered and torn. I can't find myself, I don't know who I am, don't know what I want, don't know where I stand. That was, that was really good. Did you, did you write that about, about me? No, I, I wrote about me. Oh. Look, look. I know you got stuff that, that I don't get. And I got stuff that you don't get. Hurt doesn't say goodbye. But I want you to know that you've never, you've never been alone. Not once. Shit. I gotta go to work. Talk to you soon? The fairy tales always end with happily ever after. And while we're at it, the end of today's story is not the end of Stone's. Maybe the witch was right. Stone needed to make peace with the past, even if that meant changing the future. I have